Hey guys, it's the Blazing Cheddars here for yet another episode. But today we're not going to be doing Yokai Watch, Tank Trouble, any of that. Today we will be reviewing my top 10 favorite Pokemon. So I know this is a new change, but I need some better softwares slash, you know, digital stuff. So until then, I'm going to be doing a lot of top 10s and top 5s about Pokemon. So, today I'm going to be explaining my top 10 favorite Pokemon and why. So, number 10, Lugia. So, I know that it's like a legendary Pokemon, probably shouldn't count because practically all legends are really good, but I just like Lugia because of its Aero Blast right here that it's demonstrating. It can completely blast houses apart. Also, the Pokedex entries state that a light fluttering of its wings can blow houses apart, and when it uses Aero Blast, wait for it, well, things go chaotic. Number 9, the Elemental Dog Trio. Well, to me they're not really dogs, but whatever. This is Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. I know this counts as technically three Pokemon, but if I put one of them on this list, I'd have to put the two others, right? I mean, that's the only logical way to do this. The reason I like them is because they're pretty much equal to cats, and I've always liked cats over dogs. I know all those dog fans who are, like, obsessed with dogs, and also probably a lot of you think that they're dogs, but they're not. So I think Raikou pretty much resembles like an electric tiger sort of thing. Entei resembles a fire lion. And Suicune resembles a water puma panther kind of thing. Uh, not sure. Number 8, Agron. So I've always liked the idea of Agron being some kind of metal T-Rex that completely wrecks Havoc and everything. Also, the fact that Agron can Mega Evolve is really intriguing because it grows this center horn right here. I know it grows very fat, but its defense goes up by so much, and it can just destroy. Number 7, Absol. So a lot of you Poke fans probably don't like Absol, um, like, but the only reason I like him is because he can Mega Evolve. He grows wings. Isn't it cool? Get it? Number 6. Haxorus. So at first I didn't really like Haxorus. I thought it was just this thing that stands up and tries to destroy you. It didn't look that cool, but a friend of mine, I won't say who it is, plays Pokemon White version 2. He had a Haxorus in his game. Of course he restarted because... He beat the champion, the Elite Four. It got boring, so he restarted. He chose a Sam or an Oshawott, which evolved to a Duwat and a Samurott. However, he caught an Axu early in the game, and then evolved it to Fracture, then to Haxorus. And he's the reason why I like Haxorus. I mean, yeah, friendship. And yeah, he loves Haxorus, like, loves him. Also, I like the fact that there are two axes on his face. It, it just seems really cool. Um, I didn't really acknowledge this at first, but then I looked at him from the side views, and yeah, they can pretty much cut anything, like the stack of wood here. Also, Shiny Haxorus looks like a Night Haxorus that can just destroy. Number 5, Arceus. So Arceus is another one of those mythical Pokemon that everyone should like, but it's the most godly Pokemon of all. And although I don't, like, I don't worship much, I think Arceus just looks awesome. I mean, like in Pokemon, he is the god of all Pokemon and created the universe. Um, he can use this his judgment move right here where he fires into the sky. But number four... Greninja. So I was playing through, like, you know, X and Y. Um, I came across this frog type thing 
So I like how he resembles a frog type ninja um, in Pokemon X and Y. And so with him, I destroyed the first gym leader, Viola, the second, Grant, and all the others. Which was really fun because my Froakie evolved to Frogadier, which evolved to Greninja, and completely destroyed them all. Number three, Charizard. Yeah, Charizard, one of those classics from Kanto. In the very first Pokemon game of Red, it was just awesome. I have him in Pokemon X and Y. I use him quite a bit. He actually helped me, like, he was just a Charmander. He helped me and evolved to Charmeleon. Then we reached the Comarine City Gym. If you're not familiar with X and Y, um, just play it. I mean, it's a great game, but we went to the Comarine City Gym. Obviously, you can tell that it's a grass-type gym. And my Charmeleon was level 35, one level from evolving to Charizard at level 36. So I swore that I would level Charmeleon up to th level 36, and he became level 35, then Charizard. Uh, so after he became Charizard, he completely burned everything. The gym went in flames that day. Also, last gym in Snowbell City, Wolfric is the leader. He's obviously an ice type. After all, he is wearing a coat and he has ice cubes in his gym. But, yeah, someone got melted. Also, it's Mega Evolutions. Mega, it has two Mega Evolutions. Um, it has Mega Charizard X on the right over here, the blue and black one. And Mega Charizard Y, the orange one, that looks like an enhanced form of regular Charizard. But I always like the idea of orange and blue flame competing against each other. Sick, right? Number two, the Weather Trio. So, yeah, once again, this is a trio, um, like Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon. It shouldn't count as one Pokemon, but then again, if I had to include one, I'd have to include the two others, because I like them all three equally. Um, I also like them because they're from the Hoenn region, which is my favorite region, I should tell you right now, that... Yeah, I play Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. This is the best region to me. Like, even probably better to me than the Alola region coming out. Um, I also like the idea of fire fighting water. And then some, like, flying serpent coming from the sky to stop them from the clashing. It's a war picture. Um, also, the Hoenn starters... Like Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip evolve to Combuskin, Marshjump, and Grovile, then evolve into Sceptile, Swampert, and Blaziken. However, then Blaziken, I used to imagine this, it's not true, but it seems somewhat true. Like this could actually happen. Blaziken suddenly becomes Groudon. They both stand up, both look awesome. The only flaw in this thing is that. Blaziken is a fire type, well, while Groudon is a ground type, and only Groudon becomes a fire type and ground type when it, like, primal evolves into primal Groudon. Also, I imagine that Swampert would evolve to Kyogre. I mean, if you actually look at it, Swampert and Kyogre don't have much of a difference. Kyogre, to me, looks like the enhanced version of Swampert. And lastly, Sceptile. This one's a little hard to believe, but suddenly he loses all his arms and legs and becomes Rayquaza. Um, it's like Sceptile. You can see on its head, it has two, you know, horns, I guess, ridges on his head. Then, so does practically Rayquaza. Two horns on its head. Um, but anyway, number one, the best grass type of them all, it's Sunkern. Just kidding. It's actually 
You're right. Se Septile. Yeah, that's right. Septile is like the best Pokemon to me. As I mentioned earlier, I love the Hoenn region, so that's exactly why I decided to play through Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Um, yeah, I think it's a great Pokemon, so I started off my adventure with Trico. Then the first gym leader, Roxanne, no problem, obviously, because grass beats rock. The second gym leader, Brawly, I was able to destroy him. For some weird reason, his Pokemon was like 20 levels below mine. Maybe not 20. Well, then, my Pokemon... Trico evolved into Grovile. Then Watson's gym was kind of hard for me. I lost to it, but I finally beat it second try, and my Grovile evolved to Sceptile. From there, Flannery. I wrecked her, even though her Pokemon were fire type. Norman, I like spammed Frenzy Plant. And then Winona, even though her Pokemon were flying type, which is generally supposed to be good against grass, she got destroyed by my Sceptile. Tate and Lisa were easy. There was the Psychic Gyms, but they used Lunatone and Sol Rock, which are also rock types, which are bad against grass. And finally, Wallace was absolutely no problem, because grass... Beating water is like the most classic. Also, I like Sceptile because it can Mega Evolve. It becomes this beast who doesn't want to look at you because he's too cool for it. He's sticking his tail, which is like a, a spear with like, you know, seeds on it. And he has two razor sharp blades on his arms. So, those have been my... Top 10 favorite Pokemon. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on the Blazing Treaders.